hey guys welcome back uh, this is Sanjay here so today we will see how to access any static files from a spring MVC web app so suppose we have a requirement like uh, I need to access my bootstrap.css located somewhere in the resources folder in my web app so I just want to tell you something here in case you are confused about web app see we I have created my project using file new and sorry dynamic web project so it creates which is basically creates a web content so this is basically a web app folder in terms of if you think like in terms of tomcat so whatever is there inside web content it's under accessible it's accessible in the application but what spring does spring doesn't allow this access until and unless you configure something if you are not configuring an URL you spring is not going to allow you to access its resources or any other folder or any other you uh, any other resources so let's assume I have my resources over bo uh, that is bootstrap.css in my resources folder under web content so I want to access this resources folder so if you are working on STS or a Spring Toolset, tool um, you can you can just go and create a web folder and a web app directory, and just try with by accessing that folder uh, that file under web app. Sorry, um, you you just go and create a bootstrap.css file under your resources folder and put the resources folder under web apps and just try to directly access it without configuring any URL, like the way we'll be doing over here. Just check. I'll just check how Spring reacts if I want to access its resources folder without giving, without providing or any configuration regarding the URL. So now I want to access resources folder. So Spring throws an error. Spring says, I don't know what is the URL is all about. So you have not configured this URL anywhere. So I'm not getting what is this URL all about. So I'm throwing an error. So what we are going to do is, we're going to tell Spring, yes, this URL is a valid URL and I have something here in under this URL. So how we can do it is, just go and create this. Okay, so and what, where, where is your resources? My resource is, uh, in this case, my resource is bootstrap.css and that bootstrap.css is located in the resources folder. So I will configure, I will tell Spring that all my resources is under resources folder. So I will use a wildcard over there, star star, and I will map these folders with this URL assets. Okay. So now I have told my Spring MVC web app that yes, whatever is located under U resources folder is mapped to an URL known as assets. So if I go and run this, Spring should provide me the access to use my bootstrap.css. So I'll go to where I just did throw in pop up. Okay, so this is how Spring reacts in this case. So Spring now knows this URL assets is what it's, uh, yes, this URL is all about. So guys, this is how we configure any, any static resources inside your web app. So this is all about sta uh, steps to access the static files under your web application. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks.